Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm showing you guys basically what I built for my leaf cutter bees. Um, I got a four inch pipe. Uh, it's not schedule 40, I don't know what this one is, but it's, it's basically the lower pressure um, pipe. And then you wanna cut it so that you have some sort of overhang because the reeds basically go all the way back, and these are the reeds here. The reeds will go all the way back um, and it'll give it room for the rain not to fall on it, <clears throat> not to fall on the reeds and get inside the pipe. And you wanna, when you hang it, you wanna hang it at, downward at a little bit of an angle. So anyway, we're just about nine right there, okay? So nine inches on that. And then you want to get a four inch cap, uh, flat bottom, make sure it's flat, okay? And then you wanna get either self-tapping screws or uh, pre-drill these into the wood as well behind it and then you just basically when you're drilling it in you basically just put the cap against the fence or against whatever you're gonna put it on and then you just put those screws in okay but you leave them a little loose so that as you hang it on the wall say this is flat as you hang it on the wall again flat against the wall you want it to put don't put the screws all the way in that way you can tilt it forward just a little so that any any rainwater will just come right out anyways. All right, and then um, you're gonna obviously need uh, reeds and the ones you wanna get are um, meant for leaf cutter bees. And you can go to Crown Bees and get these uh, pretty cheap. Uh, but basically you wanna get, make sure you get the right ones with the right holes. Uh, and then uh, for storage, I just use a knockout plug for storage. So at the end of the season, I'll basically just put it, put it on there. It's funny with the cap on the back, this is tight. <laughs> now it just falls out, let me see. So put the cap on and I'll just show you what it's supposed to look like too. Put the tape measure down, okay? So that's what it's supposed to look like and then the, the reeds will be in there. And then you just put a little bag of uh, leaf cutters in there. And I'll probably be doing that tonight. You don't wanna just let them out. Uh, it's kind of like ladybugs. You wanna let them out when they're cold. So you get them cold and then you let them basically come out slowly because of the cold. Um, but the other thing is, is that I found with ladybugs, um, you wanna let them out close to, to sundown and it's, it's getting there close right now. So you wanna let your leaf cutters out around then as well. That way they stay home because it's dark and they just kinda get acclimated, okay? So don't put the knockout plug on there um, <laughs> when, when you're putting the bees up, but anyways. And then, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and let's put this on the fence. And of course, Ryobi's helping us today. So uh, let's get it done. So another thing you're gonna need is two screws. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's set one up on the fence right now. Um, and I'm strategically putting it right here. And the reason why is because you see that? Am I getting it on film? Yeah, so that right there is where I'm gonna be hanging another bee house. So we wanna put this a little over more. Um, but not too far away because we want them all to uh, basically be um, going crazy in the same vicinity. So let me see if I can get around the camera here to hang this cap. <clears throat> okay, that's hard work right there. Okay, so with my trusty Ryobi, I'm going to start one of these here. A little off center there. Okay, let's go ahead. One thing I hate about these drills though is the bits. The bits, the cheap bits, I should say. They always fall apart, don't they? We're looking for one that's like Titanium. It, I mean, just something that'll never break. I'm also noticing there are different dr drills out there that have like different holes, like square holes, um, which are actually pretty cool. And I'm, I'm doing it no justice. It's not, <laughs> those are not the actual name of the screws. Um, okay, and see, so see how I'm tilting that forward a little bit? So that's really important because you don't want water in there. I mean, we are in Cali. So California, so I'm, I'm sure we're not gonna have an issue, but 
um, just in case, right? All right, and you don't want it to tilt too much either because you don't want the, the uh, straws to come out. But what you could do if that was a problem for you is you could just put a little lip here or put like some kind of ring here, like a weather stripping or something. That way it, they won't come sliding out. I might have to tighten this up just a little bit more because that's really tilting. So yeah, let me fix that again. Loosen that up just, or tighten it up just a little more. And hit the camera while I'm doing it. Oh yeah, that was really loose actually. You just want a, a tiny tilt. Tiny tilt. Okay, there we go. And now for the pipe. The cool thing is too, is that a lot of the scent of the bees is still in there from last year. Okay, that's actually perfect. So hopefully we have enough room for this other house here. So, but anyway, that'll be another video. Let's go ahead and get the reeds in there. Just for video purposes, right? <laughs> I could have did this off video. Anyway, there is the reeds. Some of them are a little too big, but we'll see. Okay, you just wanna make sure they're pushed all the way back. And you see what I mean about the overhang? So the overhang, if it rains, it'll come down and if it's raining this way, it'll come down and it'll hit this and it'll be all right. Um, like I said, I mean, a 45 would be a good idea, you know, cut a 45 degree angle in the pipe. Um, but the way you fix that is you can basically tilt it for just a tad, okay? Because um, you don't want these sliding out. So let's go ahead and let's put some uh, bees up there. And, you know, just before I do that, I wanted to say you need certain things around, okay? So one of the things, major things, is you need flowers. That's right. I almost forgot. Flowers. You need tons of flowers. And, I'm, I mean, I'm not looking at the camera right now. I'm actually looking around my yard. I got potato flowers. I got strawberry flowers. I got um, pepper flowers like crazy. I got these trees that have these tiny, tiny berries, and there's just flowers all over. It actually smells like a flower out. And then I have this other, um, my neighbor has a, uh, I believe it's a, some sort of milkweed or something like, or not milkweed, milk, um, something that butterflies love and bees, they're all over it. And then some other plants that bees are all over the place right around here. So, and then they're gonna need leaves as well. So they go out, they're called leaf cutter bees. They go out and they cut leaves and then they come back uh, and they can get that just about anywhere. But I think they like roses and I have a big old rose bush out the front of my house, um, which I will be watching to see if they cut holes in it and stuff. So, but it doesn't hurt anything. It's, they're, they're going around cutting leaves, but it's kind of like pruning, you know, it just looks funny. Um, so anyways, so those two things you definitely need and then water, you know, but they're going to get that just about anywhere in my yard, especially. Uh, one of the other things that I think, um, is accurate is they don't like the sound. Um, and I, I don't quote me on this guys, but they don't like the sound of running water. So if you have an aquaponic system like me, um, try and keep them away from that. Um, and um, from here, I'm pretty far away. You can hear it just faintly still, but um, I think I'm going to be solid here. So let me go ahead and let me get the bag OBs and put it in there. Hey, you guys, yeah, you guys at Crown Bees, you should call it bag OBs. <laughs> so anyways, let me go get them. All right. So here is the bag OBs. So I already opened it and it takes a little while for these little buggers to get going. Um, but they will get going as long as you didn't put them in the freezer. <laughs> And if you put them in the freezer, please rewind this video to see where I said, put them in the fridge. Don't put them in the freezer. So anyways, you wanna push them in there as deep as you can without crushing the bag, okay? Then once you're done putting them in there as deep as you can, you wanna kinda open the bag to where it makes it just real easy for them to come out. You see that little guy hanging at the top? He's like, what up? So, um, I'm going to try to get some closer footage of them when they, they're coming out. Um, I'm hoping that I can get some footage of them coming out. Uh, the sun's going down pretty fast now and 
Well, I have a light on this camera, so I'll try to get some video as best I can. But yeah, they're definitely starting to move in there. So let's try to get closer before they start coming around and crawling out and all that. All right, so generally speaking, the males tend to come out first. Uh, these are all pre-incubated, so they're ready to basically hatch um, at a moment's notice. Basically, once the temperature hits just right, the developed bees come right out. The males, and it looks like I have just males emerging so far, they have green eyes, and they have basically um, a hairier back, and hopefully guys in the human race, <laughs> most of the guys that, that I know have, I mean, compared to women, have hairy backs. So, um, so yeah, let me focus in on this guy hanging up here. So yeah, and this guy down here moving around the reeds. You know, those reed holes look pretty big. Um, not to worry though, I mean, if they don't use these, they're gonna use all the trays that I have because I have tons of stuff that I'm putting out. Um, so uh, I'm gonna put up those other houses as well within today. I mean, I'm gonna be doing it tonight actually, uh, trying to get another video out of this. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna set those up, you guys. But yeah, this is the bees and they're, uh, Leaf cutter bees, and like I said, I mean, they pollinate like crazy. That was the other thing I mentioned, I didn't mention is, they pollinate like, like crazy people, like crazy bees actually. Um, and how they do it is they come in and they land on their bellies, basically on the flowers, and they just get it all over their belly, the pollen. And um, that's when they fly into their little holes, they make little houses for their babies, they lay a single egg with some pollen in there, and then they seal it up with leaves, so. Um, so yeah, so anyways, this, uh, this, this is the video for the um, leaf cutter bees from Crown Bees. Anyway, thanks guys, God bless you, and uh, like always, peace. If you haven't had an opportunity yet to subscribe to our channel uh, and you wanna see updates on these uh, bees and other bees that I got, um, please mash that subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell icon. Even if you've been here a long time, hit that bell icon and you'll get all my video updates as they come out. All right, so God bless, later.